it's first of all they were leasing our main airport jkia mm. to me it doesn't make sense uh it didn't make sense and um jkia is profitable if we want we can um do a we can contract someone to upgrade the airport um so it doesn't make sense to me it's worth 1 trillion kenya shillings um uh, the market cap of jkia the uh, valuation so it doesn't make sense at all to bring in adani number 2 adani is one of the most corrupt countries uh, sorry not countries one of the most corrupt companies in the world and at the moment it could be one of the most corrupt you know like the co most corrupt uh, company in the world so why would you go for a super corrupt company a company with a very bad reputation a reputation of bribery a reputation of laund money laundering a reputation of hiding money in the cayman islands reputation of intimidation you know it's crazy from bangladesh to australia to india um so for me it was a no brainer that this company is no it's a last year there was two different companies uh, that wanted to bid mm. for the upgrade of JKIA one was from Singapore the other one was from I think uh, Qatar uh, if I'm not wrong and uh, one was another one was from Brazil so there was several companies that were willing to bid um, so if it was a competitive bidding and Adani won this would have been a different story hmm. I tried to look in India and India they they do competitive bidding in India so why not do it in Kenya hmm. in Aifa I'm sure they did competitive bidding it wasn't uh, you know like uh, they were not just given the tender hmm. they had to uh demonstrate that they are able to do this um this project so why not do it in kenya what are they afraid of they should come and compete with other companies and if they win they do the, the job but also their integrity needs to be um not questionable as it is right now so many people have been saying oh maybe uh i'm trying to vote for china or other you know gl global players no are you and i'm <laughs> nelson are you <laughs> I am not <laughs> and I am not trying to fight India this is just um trying to get a good deal for the country and you know I'm patriotic I don't want to see my country lose I want to see my country uh, develop we would like to have a better upgraded airport but the right channels need to be followed the law needs to be followed for that to happen I did the digging but um I wouldn't say I did it myself. Um there was so many people that were involved and are still involved so it's not me alone. It's a lot of people who are patriotic and who are also in government and they don't like how things are running. There are patriotic people still in government. Um so these people are the ones who are helping to you know expose all these things that are happening and that are not right if things are right nobody will expose anything because everything will be in 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 um in the open but if things go the way they are going then the patriotic citizens will keep doing this so it's not me alone there are so many other people involved um in 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 digging for information because it's a lot and it's from different departments uh d different parts so i cannot do it alone i'm outside kenya so obviously uh the people in kenya are, are the ones helping me so it's more of um open source uh, 